Dear students, welcome back to Smart Biology Tricks. So today we are going to uh, discuss about the introduction of genetic engineering. So genetic engineering is an important uh, field where the modification of genes uh, in the living organism is going to happen with the uh, in vitro condition. And uh, because of that genetic changes, some major uh, uh, benefit we can produce to the society that might be in the field of agriculture or in the vaccine production or in the clinical trials so on maybe environmental biotechnology we can apply the genetic engineering concept so like that the genetic engineering is having vast application in different areas of biology and this is about the unit content uh, in unit one that we are going to discuss about introduction to RDNA technology and genetic engineering. So here we are going to study about history of RDNA technology and basic steps in gene cloning, restriction, digestion, ligation, transformation, screening, reporter and marker gene, genomic DNA and cDNA library, construction and application and ethical implications of biotechnological products and techniques uh, we are going to study. And this is about unit two. So first we will discuss uh, topics from unit one. So RDNA technology, it is also known as recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering is a revolutionary branch of biotechnology that involves the manipulation of DNA molecules to create new genetic combination that do not occur naturally. So this is what we discussed in the introduction. So whichever is not possible by nature immediately so that we can bring. So some kind of whichever changes that we want to make in the living organism. Say for example, increasing the quality of the milk production in animals, cow, goat, sheep, whatever that we can increase or uh, fur production if you want to increase in the animals that we can produce. The trait quality that we can increase by using the concept called RDNA technology. We can modify the genes of the living organism. It might be plant or bacteria or micro any kind of other microorganism or even humans also we can bring these changes. So this technology enables scientists to introduce specific genes from one organism to another thereby transferring desirable traits and producing organisms with novel characteristics. Say for example if you have one particular uh, gene that is present in lemon fruit uh, that gene we can take it out and that gene can be inserted into a similar uh, plant family maybe another orange family orange plants we can introduce so this kind of genes that can be taken from one organism and can be in inserted into another organism so this is that is that can be possible through this genetic engineering concept for that what we need to do we need to have a plasmid dna so plasmid dna is nothing what it is it is a extracellular chromosomal dna that is present in the bacteria so it is self replicating and it is a circular DNA and this DNA is not uh, completely involving in the mechanism of bacteria whenever the bacteria want to uh, resist itself from the uh, pathogenic substances that time this plasmid DNA will act as an immune uh, protecting agent. So this plasmid DNA we can isolate and here uh, we have some restriction digestion uh, uh, sequencing recognizing site for certain enzymes. So with uh, eco R1 or different types of enzyme we can uh, treat with uh, this plasmid DNA and it can be the plasmid DNA will made into a single cut. So with that uh, thing what we are doing we are going to isolate the pla pla foreign DNA the specific gene of interest that we are going to uh, chalk pit out with the using a restriction enzyme same restriction enzyme. So a smaller fragment of gene of interest we will get. So by combining this cut uh, plasmid DNA and uh, the gene of interest uh, by using a uh, DNA ligase enzyme, we can seal the uh, uh, cut opened uh, plasmid DNA along with the gene of interest. And then this recombinant, this will be called as recombinant DNA because the natural plasmid DNA does not contain this foreign gene. So we have ins inserted the foreign gene inside the plasmid DNA. So now this DNA, uh, plasmid DNA will be called as recombinant DNA. So this recombinant DNA will be taken up by the host cell the by using different methods there are many different methods are there say for example uh, electroporation or uh, uh, 
particle bombardment can or some uh, different methods agrobacterium uh, mediated gene transfer different methods that we can follow to transfer this recombinant dna into the host cell and then the host bacteria say for example if it is an e coli within 20 minutes the e coli will start at doubling so uh, in all the progeny of this e coli bacteria this plasmid dna recombinant plasmid dna will be present so that we can culture and we can identify whichever DNA, uh, bacterial cell that contains recombinant plasmid DNA and then we can use uh, those bacteria for producing a specific protein that will be produced by this foreign gene. So in such a way we can bring any kind of changes in the living organism maybe in the field of agriculture or medicine field or environmental uh, biotechnology the cleaning the uh, environment so different types of uh, applications we can perform by using this kind of technique this technique is called as cloning of a foreign gene into a plasmid dna and this slide tells you about the applications of rdna technology always remember this rdna technology is also called as genetic engineering recombinant dna technology uh, different names are there for this uh, field and therapeutic proteins we can produce vaccines growth hormones uh, antibodies, vectors, recombinant protein, anti-cancer drugs we can produce out of this genetic engineering applications and uh, genetically modified products say for example fruits in agriculture field we can produce a fruit which can have longer shelf life and increased flavor content also we can produce genetically modified vegetables bt cotton bt brinjal uh, bt brinjal is an example for genetically modified vegetables gm crops uh, which is uh, i think it is a bt brinjal many different types of bt plants we can produce and genetically modified microbe microbes like pseudo uh, pseudomonas like uh, what, is it, what is it pseudomonas putida it is genetically modified bacteria which cleans the oil spills in the marine environment and genetically modified animals we can produce and also in the energy applications biohydrogen bioethanol biomethanol and biobutanol we can produce out of this genetic engineering applications in the field of diagnosis gene therapy crispr so crispr is one of the important uh, uh, recent gene editing tool that is uh, this is a short form and full form for crispr is clustered regular interspaced short palindromic repeats so this is a, just a gene editing tool so this mechanism is uh, originally followed by bacterial system so that bacterial mechanism that we can adopt and we can modify according to the a gene which we need to delete or which we need to uh, add in the organism's genome that we can that we can perform by using crispr technology and monitoring devices we can produce by using this genetic engineering mechanism and therapeutic strategies also we can follow so this is what i said crispr crispr is an important uh, recent application in the field of genetic engineering it is a gene editing tool clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats that is the full form of crispr so here cas9 protein will be there that is called crispr associated protein so there are many different proteins are available under cas protein and uh, cas9 protein is one important protein that you that is used in the gene editing system and uh, another uh, other applications if you see uh, yeah this is how we can do the genetic transformation by using particle bombardment method or electroporation agrobacterium or glass beads so this is a methods of genetic transformation these are all the different techniques that is used in the genetic engineering thing that is random integration homologous recombination crispr cas9 is an important uh, gene editing tool talent that is transcription activated like uh, proteins and uh, zfn zinc finger nucleases this is these are all the gene editing tools and the applications whatever we seen in the previous slide biofuels aquatic feed we can produce the quality of uh, aquatic food with the uh, enriched quality that we can produce nutraceuticals we can produce out of this genetic engineering aspect and cosmetics field also this genetic engineering uh, methodology is applicable and uh, this is the meta me mechanism that is the genetic engineering methodology that is used in the agriculture field so first what we are doing we are taking the agrobacterium so agrobacterium is a soil bacterium which infects the plants so this bacterium whenever uh, it is in infecting the plants through the root system and it enters into the stem and here uh, it, it will produce the over like it will uh, increase the uh, metabolism of uh, uh, 
certain amino acid because of that bulging of the stems will happen like tumor kind of uh, tissue will formed in the plant system because of the infection of this agrobacterium um, tumefaciens the bacteria so from this bacteria we are going to isolate the plasmid plasmid uh, this is a plasmid that is present in this bacteria so this bacteria plasmid is called as ti plasmid because it is inducing the tumor to the plant so it is called as ti plasmid so there are certain genes that are associated with the tumor inducing uh, nature of the plant so in that area we are going to make a cut with the restriction enzyme so restriction enzymes are taken from certain bacteria uh to name few equr1 bam h1 a small one so many different types of restriction enzymes are available equr5 also available say for example with the help of a restriction enzyme equr1 we are making one cut with this uh, plasmid dna and we have already made a, a foreign gene so that for foreign gene will be treated with the cut opened plasmid dna along with the dna ligase enzyme so recombinant plasmid will be produced in the next step the plasmid recombinant plasmid uh, will be inserted back to the bacterial cells and then this bacteria will be allowed to infect the plant system because of this recombinant bacteria infecting the plant the gene of interest which we inserted into the recombinant plasmid will be expressed in the plant system so whenever the plants are in the callous condition that time itself this recombinant bacteria will be allowed to infect the callous system then the callous system will ob obtain the recombinant uh, a plasmid along with the gene of interest so the gene of interest will be expressed in the host cell uh, during the cellular division process it will be multiplicated and it will be uh, expressed in the plant system so this is one of the important application in the uh, agriculture sector by genetic engineering method